What's up guys, Hotra Frontier back at it again with another video. And in this video, we're gonna be doing our first market watch for 2023. I can't believe it guys, new year, new vibes, gonna be amazing. I wanna thank you guys so much for showing me support last year. Let's go ahead and keep up that wave because we're gonna be hitting 1K this year for sure. But guys, let's go ahead and get right into this first card. We have Chaos Emperor, the Dragon Armageddon. So you can already see right here, $142. That's incorrect, don't worry about it. You have to go down here, $78, like 80 bucks. But this card's kind of crazy. Uh, but it is short printed. And I don't, I'm not sure if they, this set had like a rewave, honestly. But um, again, for Dragon Link, we're like light and dark decks. So if you're not gonna use it, definitely consider selling it. I remember when this card was like $38. It's like the highest card other than like uh, 10k Dragon really, I believe so, and uh, Utopia. But um, you know, if you're not going to use it, just sell it. I'm, I'm considering selling it mine, I'm not going to lie. But <laughs> let's go on to the next card. We have Alpalusa, Bow of the Goddess. Uh, this rarity specifically because this is the secret rare from Rising Rampage. And uh, we have gotten reprints of this card. That's why the card went down. You know, ultra rare copy, gold rare copy. But um, if you guys do not have uh, your Alpalusa yet, I mean, dude, you can just get one, but consider getting the high rarity because, you know, I don't think they're going to make a Chris Mack of this. Probably not, right? So, and it's not bad, uh, like 38 bucks, 37 bucks. Some are unlimited. You can probably just go and get the um, first sets. Why not, right? You're probably going to do that eventually at some point. But uh, moving on, we have the Runic Engine in total. So, um, the Runic Engine's very good. You know, they mix it with uh, Sprite. Not bad. Uh, the cards are kind of down right now. So, you see Chuol for uh, Fountain is uh, like 14 and then the tip is like 23 those used to be like uh, 34 35 to like 40 right so consider picking it up if you really want to play the engine it's probably a good time to pick them up now before they go up uh, moving on we have access code talker so uh, if you guys do not have access code talker I would highly consider picking this up uh, it's high rarity right uh, this has this this copy there's the original copy from Eternity code which is I pulled thankfully but um <laughs> We also have the gold rare copy that, you know, people were kind of like, oh, well, if you need an access code talker, pick that one up. But now you have this one, okay? It's secret rare, it looks just like the first one, so you might as well just pick it up. I don't know why this is at $53, we can go down here. 40, okay, so this card's actually picking up. That's crazy. Um, I This used to be like $23, $25, so the fact that, I'm just seeing this now, by the way, too, which is insane. But um, yeah, so go ahead and pick them up before they really go back up to probably like 60, 70, you know, access code talk for like levels. But let's move on. We have uh, Battles of Legends, uh, Crystal Revenge. So this is specifically the Exodia piece that I'm on the show, even though you see access code talker for like 450 right out here. But uh, the Exodia pieces have actually been picking up. You know, these pieces, the uh, individual pieces, like the legs and the arms used to be like around 150, you know, because you can't really, they're, they're the same thing, you know, like Exodia, the uh, main core, the effect monster, is the effect, so that's why that card's not that much, I guess. But the other pieces, I'm surprised that they've all just been picking up. It's kind of crazy. I'm not gonna lie. Um, so you know, that, that's that's something to look at. And then we have the I'm not gonna pronounce the name because I'm gonna get it wrong. We have the Tillerman's, uh Field Spell. This card has actually like been dipping in price. It's no longer 80 bucks if you guys have not known, but uh, 36 dollars, which is really crazy. Uh, to think about it. So if you're trying to play like a tier one deck, you know, uh, you might as well go pick them up if you want. And then moving on, we have tier limits as a uh, engine. So uh, this deck is really good, right? And again, everything's down. So like I showed you guys with the uh, field spell, like everything is down. I remember this dropped a few months ago. I think two, three months it might have been. It was like 18, 19. Now it's like six, seven. Um, and like everything is just there's just so many listings too. That's the thing with uh, decks like this, like. You just have so many people playing the market, so the cards are going down in price. But um, yeah, if you want to play the deck, you might as well, right? And then moving on, and actually before we can get to that, Root Kalos was like 300, 350, I believe. Now it's even like 210. So think about that, right? We have Sprite Blue, Sprite, Sprite Blue. Uh, this card is so. If you guys didn't know, the Power of the Elements they created a unlimited uh, run pretty recently. So a lot of cards have uh, kind of dipped in price or gone up. So like these used to be about 34 bucks, 32 bucks um, after they used to be 60. But now they're kind of going back up in price the first uh, editions because now the unlimiteds are there. They're kind of creating like that that uh, that wave where like the limits are now like 32, 35, and now this is like 40 bucks, right? So you know if you want your copies, just might as well get them. And then we have Ultimate Slayer, which I recommend getting because they are ridiculously low. Um, 
So you have the first sets are like 19, 20. They've been like that for a while. The unlimiteds are a little cheaper, so if you want to go the cheaper route, you might as well go ahead and, and do that. But um, then going into amazement. So the amazement engine, if you guys don't know, uh, this actually did not get reprinted at all in any of the megatons uh, that we've had so far. So I don't know if you guys think it might it might go uh, crazy in the future. You might as well go pick them up because this car is approaching like seven, eight dollars, and you know that's kind of crazy. Uh, it used to be like a two, three dollar card if you look at it, like kind of dipped around here. Yeah, like two, three dollar card, not bad. So if you guys are uh, thinking about picking that up, you might as well you know, do that now. And uh, we have the Vistiel engine. That's probably the most, the best engine that we have right now in modern Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, these prices are insane. Like the like eighteen, nineteen dollars for super. I never would have thought like that uh, for modern super. And it's kind of crazy with uh, Magna Hood and Drius Worm because they just have some great, such great synergy. Honestly, I can see like uh, Saraneer picking up soon, just because it's another Vistiel monster. Um, probably the Vistiel Alba most. Probably not. It's probably gonna stay how it is. But not if you're trying to play the entire engine, I mean, hey, like, Rebellion, $57. Could be worse. It could be worse, right? So, uh, let's move on. We have Sudri the Phantom Glimmer from uh, Darkwing Blast. So, this card is kind of picking up. Not $25. I, I don't know why people do this. But, uh, yeah, we have about, like, $4.67, $5. Um, it used to be 2 3 So, definitely, I mean, it's a really great support card for Blackwings themselves. So, uh, you guys should definitely you know, check it out if you are interested in Blackwings when they get too expensive. And then uh, moving on, we have the Kastira uh, engine as well. So Fenrir has always been expensive, uh, like 70, 63. I can't even say it's really dropping, honestly, because it's just such an impactful card right now. Unicorn has been picking up, though, like the people playing the uh, Kastira engine like deck themselves. So um, that's been going up. I don't see the others going up, really, because supers and commons, but... You know, definitely just keep your eyes on this. I believe they're getting more support in the next set, so, you know, just keep your eyes on that. And then moving on, guys, we have the Muckraker from the Underworld. So, specifically the Ultra Rare um, sneak peek version of it, because you can't really pull this. You have to add two of them. Um, one, like the raffle at like a local or something like that, or a tournament, however they want to do that. But, um, you know, if Dark Bolts really do go off, then this is the card to look at. If not, if you just want a copy, then just get the super rare copy, right? No problem with that. But uh, $13, $14 is not too expensive, right? When we talk about Yu-Gi-Oh cards. But uh, <laughs> moving on, I want to look at this Mono Moon um, Moki Moki uh, plush. $35, but hey, I mean, it's it looks pretty big. And, you know, I'm not going to lie. I might have to have like a nice plush in the background for you guys to see. Um, and then moving on, finally, if you guys have not heard, uh, a little late news, I think this was like last week, week and a half ago, but they're doing a 25th anniversary run for Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, it's going to be really cool. They're going to do the first few sets, like Legendary and Blue Eyes, and they're going to rewave that. So you can buy like a booster box of that with a 25th stamp on it. And uh, we're hoping, we're hoping the 25th stamp will be on that. So, but exactly, like Legendary Collection for this. So if you hadn't seen, um, a lot of people have been trying to sell like their versions of the Legendary Collection because now they're going to have the 25th, so it's kind of like ruining the value of it. Um, so yeah, uh, 32 bucks, uh, not bad. I guess it's kind of, you know, they're, they're raising the prices of yu gi oh recently, but yeah, it's not too bad. Um, but yeah, you can see right here, uh, they'll, they're going to do uh, Legends of Blue Eyes, they're going to do Metal Raiders, uh, Spell Ruler, Pharaoh Servant, uh, Invasion of Chaos, and um, yeah. And there's going to be this secret quarter century secret rare version. So that's going to be pretty cool. And then one of six aforementioned cards inserted randomly. So kind of keep the chase up. So you kind of want to open the chase up, right? Or if you want to just buy them all, like, like the smart ones. We're not, we're, we're not smart. It's okay. Uh, <laughs> but um, guys, that's it. That's all that I have for you for this market watch. Um, if you guys liked the video, make sure to give it a huge like. Comment down below. Are you excited for these changes, uh, this new set coming out, or any of the cards that I aforementioned? So definitely let me know down below. And guys, if you're not subscribed to the channel, what are you doing? Make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you're updated when I upload new videos. But also, new webcam, so you're going to be seeing my face a lot more. Thank you guys so much for supporting me, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.